Hello farmers. Today we're going to discuss how to duplicate trees. The first thing that you're going to need if you will want to duplicate trees is a multi-planter. You need either the 16 multi-planter, the 64, the 144, or the 256 multi-planter. The larger multi-planter that you have, the more trees you will be able to duplicate in a single click. So to get started, the first thing we need to do is take tab number one and go offline. We need to make sure that we have the trees that we're going to start with in storage. And if I look in my storage, I have 101 olive trees. The amount does not matter. Uh, wherever you start at, you will simply be able to double that number uh, each time you go through the process of duplicating the trees. So uh, in this case, we have 101. It doesn't matter if you start with 15 or with 500. Whatever is in storage, you will be able to double that amount. You need to make sure that the farm where you want to plant the trees is set to your default farm. And you simply click up here on the farm name and select make this my default. Now we're ready to open a new tab by pressing the control key and clicking on the play button. We have now opened our second tab and we have the second tab is online the first tab is going to be offline and we're simply going to go into our storage select to multi-plant the olive tree uh, i will pick 256 but you pick whatever size multi-planter you have i always plant them in a square and i will put them in this corner right here now i need to add one item to storage and i will simply click on the add to storage and now I have one real tree in storage, which allows me to come over here to tab number two, go to my items, select the multi-plant, and I will place the trees in a different location than I did on the first tab. Now I will go back to tab number one and I will refresh the farm. It's important that you refresh on the tab that is offline and you're going to reload the game on the tab that is online. So now, you can see the trees that I planted on tab number one, and you can see the trees that I planted on tab number two. And I am simply going to click to add the items to storage, and it says I have 201 olive trees on this farm. So now I have 201. 201 olive trees in storage, but this tab, number two, does not know that there's 200 trees in storage, therefore I must reload the game. Now that I have reloaded the game on tab number two, it can see that there are no trees on this farm, and if we look at our storage on tab number two, it now recognizes there is 201 trees in storage on tab number two. So I'm going to go back to tab number one, go to my storage, I'm going to multi-plant our 200 trees and we'll put them up here. Now we need to add one tree back into storage. Go to tab number two. We will multi-plant these 200 trees. Now we're going to return to tab number one and refresh the farm. And as you can see, tab number one sees both sets of trees that were planted. So we're simply going to add those to storage. Returning to tab number two, you need to reload the game. We have now reloaded the game on tab number two. And once again, it recognizes there are no trees on the farm. And if we go to our storage, it can tell that we now have 400 trees in storage. Back to farm number one. And we're going to multi-plant now the 400 trees. And now it's going to take two plants with my big one. And I will need to add one real tree back into storage. Now we go to tab two and the trick changes just a little bit because when we go to storage and we multi-plant 256 of these 400 trees, we have to stop. 
we have to return to tab number one and add one more tree back to storage before we can do a second multi-plant. Now tab number two has planted all of its trees and tab number one has planted all of its trees so we can refresh tab number one and you see both sets of trees that were just planted. Tab number one adds all of these trees into storage. Now there's 800 of them. We're going to return now to tab number two and we must reload the game. And once again, tab number two you can see that there are no trees. Checking storage, you can see that there are 800 trees showing in storage. Now this is the last round that we're going to do, and we have returned to tab number one. We're going to multi-plant all of the trees. Now that we have planted all of the trees, we're going to add a single tree back into storage. Go over to tab two, open up storage, multi-plant, and we're able to put one multi-plant down before we return to tab number one and add one more tree to storage. Tab number two, we will multi-plant, return to tab number one, add one tree to storage. We're going to multi-plant a third time and now I want to show you what happens if you do not add a tree to storage. We're going to set this group out here in the middle. It's just a few trees but we did not add a tree back to storage to place these trees. Now we have returned to tab number one and we're going to refresh the farm and as you can see the groupings that we put together for tab number one up here and tab number two down here but the trees that I set out here in the middle showing you why you have to add a single tree every time they did not show up. They will not duplicate if you don't put a single tree into storage every time you use the multi planter. And so now all we have to do is add the trees to storage and now we have gone from 100 trees up to 1,500 trees, almost 1,600 trees in just a matter of a few minutes.